someone got new wheels. What is it? Sometimes I just gotta tighten down, tighten, tighten it down. I don't wanna humble <laughs> boast or anything like that, but just gotta do a look at. Come just, on. Just a, just really? A, just, just a little tight. Just, just a little, just a little tight. And what's up? What's up? You wanna look at some details? What we got here? Money. X X R. Money. <laughs> e S R. Someone on someone on Reddit said you were kind of annoying and they That's didn't okay. like you. That's fine. And then I told them that I'd give you a good slap. To the rebuttal this. Back Can where? Back of the neck? Back of the neck is fine. Yeah. Okay. This is for Oh that one hurt. Got it got the got the neck. Okay. That, that hurt. Alright. There you go. Your gold hardware matches the gold. Oh yeah. What is going on guys and welcome back to the channel. I know it's been a little bit, but I've been busy outside of YouTube as it has normally been and waiting on the sore, obviously for the paint to be finished, which by the way, is coming along very, very well. The car itself is actually fully painted and finished. They're just finishing up like the door handles and the side mirrors and all this, the little stuff that they had to paint off the car. So hopefully within the next week, the car will be done and we can make a video on that, which I'm super, super excited for. Now, like two or three videos ago, we chopped the roof off this thing and it was a blast. But after that, the car kind of just sat around because we got into the whole paint fiasco and I had to swap shops and blah, blah, blah. But today we are revisiting this car and I have something very, very cool in store for it. So when we cut the roof off the car, I had an idea of, or like a direction of where I wanted to go with things. It was either slam the thing on the ground or lift it. And I put a poll up on my YouTube community page and by like, I think 10 or 12%, there was like almost 2000 votes, but I think 10% more of you guys voted for slamming it. And that is exactly what we are going to do today. Now, obviously this isn't some crazy expensive build. This is some cheap budget build just to have fun with and just goof around with. And once it's done, we can, you know, mob around it in the neighborhood and go through the woods and just do stupid stuff to this car because it was cheap from the beginning and we're still gonna keep doing cheap stuff to it. So since the struts on this thing are absolutely gone ever since I got it, we got some coilovers and they were sent to us by a company called Max Speeding Rods. Now I had these coilovers on my Civic actually about, I think it was, it was 2017. I had them on my Civic and they lasted in their stock form a decent amount of time. I, I would say like two months or so. And then I got stupid and put really stiff springs on them, which obviously they're not valved for stiff springs. So they blew out and they rode like crap, but that was my fault. Let's get a little bit of an unboxing going on here. Brit, would you like to assist in the unboxing? Yes. Oh, they have the camber adjustment. That's rad. These coilovers are definitely not priced high. They're priced pretty cheap and uh, it's great for budget builds and stuff like that. So it works awesome for the Subaru. So we'll install them, we'll put them on and everything, give you an honest review of how they feel. It is huge. Look at all that fucking adjustment. I know. I hope that it lets you actually go low enough. By the way, I'm just going to literally max these out immediately because that's just how we do things around here. But, uh, they're max speeding rods. They're max lower them down rods. <laughs> Absolutely. You can hear the shock. Yeah, you can hear the shock. You can hear, shock. like, all the grease and mud. Yeah. So. This will definitely be a lot, lot, lot better than what we currently have going on right now. It's absolutely nauseating, so I'm excited to put these in. And since today is a sponsored video, you guys can always find the link to the sponsored product in the description. I will leave a link to these coilovers and to their website itself, and you guys can check them out for yourself. But now, let's get this thing jacked up and figure out where we're going with this. All right, so if you are unfamiliar with coilover installs, this is pretty much what you gotta do, at least for this coilover setup. So, as you can see, the new coilover has two holes down here. That's where it mounts to the actual hub. And then up here, it's got three screws that come up through the shock tower and bolt up right here. So, two weeks ago, I already uh, WD-40'd these, so they're already loose, so that's good. And surprisingly, the two bottom bolts came off 
perfectly on the old struts, which I was almost certain that they were gonna snap, but we have three more struts to go, so I'm not going to, uh, uh icky. Ah! Oh, oh dust, uh, sand. So basically what we could do, one way is if we want to get kind of like a factory height, we could just uh, make sure the coilover is the same size, or since we're going to be slamming it, uh, just kind of pick a certain amount that we want to go low and match it for the rest of the car. Yeah. These two went in perfect, top three went in perfect. We didn't really do much adjustment to the coilover itself. We're just putting the ABS and brake lines back on. I don't know if you guys can see it. The bottom of the coilover is already pretty close to the axle. Yeah. So we may not have much room for adjustment here, which kind of sucks. What I do think will be nice though, is in the future, if we decide to lift this thing, mm -hmm. We have all the adjustment within that collar that we can lift oh, yeah. this thing up to. Oh yeah. And uh, what's nice, I was noticing too, too. Your uh, fenders. Like, I don't know about the rear, but no, dude, there's that, no lift. That rolled it by itself. <laughs> dude. By itself. Mother Nature rolled that one. Drop her down. That is exactly the same height. Stiff, but it's definitely stiff. All right. So since these coilovers don't really let you go low, we decided that we're gonna lift it. Um, it gives you like, I would say three and a half to four inches of lift before it becomes kind of unsafe to have uh, that little thread in the actual collar itself. So I need a tape measure and I thought we had a tape measure here, but we do not have a tape measure here. So, all right, moment of truth. Well, let me take the jack. Nah, send it. <laughs> all right, let's see if it stays. <laughs> hey, oh. hey. That's pretty good. That's lifted, dude. That's lifted. But don't forget, you still have the other side too. Wow. Okay. I'm cool with that. That's pretty. That's, that's pretty good. That's a lot. We could we could get some friggin' some meats on there. I definitely need to get new wheels. And I, I definitely need some new wheels and tires for this thing if we're gonna take it take it in the woods. But no. That's I'm happy with that. I'm gonna stop talking. I know I talk way too much and I'm sorry for that. We're just gonna start grinding, get all this stuff put on, and then we can take this thing out for a spin. All right, guys, all four coilovers are in the Subaru, and for once in my life, I used a set of coilovers to lift a car. I don't think I've ever done that before. And uh, I don't think any of us have ever done that before, but it worked. This thing's definitely lifted a solid three inches more than uh, it was. So let's, uh, let's pull this thing out and take a look at it in the sun. I could not tell at all while it was like inside here, but now that it's outside, it is so much higher. I'm just honestly happy that I have some nice or better suspension than uh, my blown factory struts, so that's rad. All right, well, the second modification for the Subaru is complete. Brand new max speeding rods coilovers are installed and used for not what I had originally thought. I came here thinking that I was gonna slam this thing on the ground, but we couldn't really do that. So we did the next best thing. We jacked it all the way up. And now this thing is lifted. But you guys saw the suspension before. It's got little to no bounce now, which is good. Tires are low, but uh, no, this thing is rad now. I'm excited to see what it feels like on an actual road. Before, I was just like ready to throw up wherever I go because it's just so bouncy. But uh, we'll put them to the test. We'll see what they feel like. I'm just, I'm honestly a little worried that because this car has no roof now, that because the suspension is stiffer, it's gonna like make this thing flex and just break in half, which would be funny, 
but I obviously don't want that to happen on the road. So I don't know, we'll see what happens, but we're gonna take this thing out. We might go to the car wash and uh, clean it out because it's still full of glass and shit. I just want to get that out of there and uh, just see how it feels. Go for a little, go for a little drive, you know? Okay, so the suspension definitely feels a little weirder. That might just be because I'm not used to nice suspension in this car. So, uh, it feels so much better. It feels so much better already. I mean, it doesn't help that it's a truck now. So we've lost kind of half the rigidity of the car, but uh, it's a lot fucking better. And hopefully it doesn't snap in half, but that would be funny. So I'm, I don't know. Do I want that? No, I don't want that to happen. Do I? No, you don't want that to happen. I don't I guess, I guess not. It would be funny though. It feels good, aside from my brakes, which are absolutely garbage. <laughs> <laughs> that guy in the BMW gave me the absolute dirtiest look. <laughs> I'm sorry. Oh, Steve! Oh, Steve! <laughs> <laughs> Brother! Uh, should we turn around? No, we're okay. No? Okay. Coilovers, I think we're a big success. They, they feel, feel good. good. There's no they rattles. They feel good. I think the only thing that I feel is just the lack of roof on the vehicle. No, they don't rattle, which is nice. No, they don't. I felt a little bit of binding, but I don't think that that's, oh, we, we got a biker boy behind us. <laughs> you can pull up next to me. <laughs> oh, that's funny. It honestly is fucking night and day, it dude. Cool. It's cool. It's so funny seeing just like this little golden collar from your max beating rod. Just like, I know, just you could see it. I thought you were supposed to lower it. Yeah, no, so we were, we were gonna lower it and then since the coil, since the suspension like threads through it all the way through, oh yeah, it hits the axle, so yeah. it doesn't let you go low. Oh wow, it rides yeah. good. It rides like really good. We just came take back. it, take it around. Everyone pile in the machine. Like I feel nice going in here again because I'm not gonna sit on glass. I can't do that. Let's go wheeling, boys. We talk about we're thinking about going in the back path over there. Oh, back? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Looks fucking awesome now. Well, pretty good. <laughs> <laughs> Take it on the path. Oh god. Let's see. Let's see. Let's see what we got. Oh, oh fuck. <laughs> <laughs> oh dude, this thing's bent. This Hold on, boys. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Those are big rocks. <laughs> it's lifted. What are you talking about? Oh, What's the tire? Oh, dude, this thing. Oh my god. <laughs> oh my god! Oh man. I did see someone like go down this path. So. Did I mention that we have no gas? Oh! <laughs> Dude, this, this thing is so much fun with the top a, off. That's what I was telling you. It's, it's so nice. Much. It's gonna be fucking lame if it was fucking lowered. Yeah, I'm actually happy that I didn't. <laughs> oh my god! <laughs> Dude, so I'm shrubbing. I definitely need new wheels and tires. Dude, no, just same wheels, just big fucking tires. Yeah. We're in that one. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> oh god. <laughs> this is the best thing you've done, Mike. <laughs> Sell everything. <laughs> oh my god. That was amazing. <laughs> oh. uh, so that's fun. This was a lot of fun. <laughs> Thank you, Max Peating Rods, for sponsoring today's video and doing all of this for us because without you, I wouldn't have had coilovers for this car and used them to lift it. And they ride surprisingly very well for cheap coilovers. And just when we thought hybrid. you guys were not that great, you totally redeemed yourself. <laughs> this, totally redeemed this yourself. Thing is, this thing is awesome. So, yeah, I'm, I'm pretty hyped on this. So, leave it down in the comments what you guys think, what we should do next with this, and I guess that's the end of the video. I enjoyed doing this so, so much, and uh, I definitely know that I need some new tires. I'll probably keep the same wheels, but just get some nicer tires for it some nice off-road tires, but it handled the woods like a champ. That was so much fun. So, uh, yeah. Things to come with this. Soar updates very soon. 
and I'm also going to be heading to Pennsylvania next week with Crispy and Halcyon to help them shoot RWB Pennsylvania. And it's going to be so much fun, so I'll see you guys there. I'll see you guys next week with Soar updates, and I hope you guys have an awesome rest of the day. Leave a like, comment, subscribe on the video. Peace out.